Now that we've shown you how to create a classic design, the next step is going to be showing you how to place that down on your material in a way that makes sense, whether it's at a corner, uh, the center of your beam, um, using all advantage of your stock material so that you can indicate exactly where to put the designs down in space. So to start out, I'm going to go ahead and just create a quick little circle and call it two inches in diameter is fine. And then I'm going to go to the place step, which is where we're going to indicate using the arms of the machine where to put this design in classic mode down on our material. So you can see here that the arms the movement of them is going to be reflected on the tablet the same as we move it in real time. And so essentially the very basic uh, requirements for place is to have an origin. So on the left side of your screen, you're gonna see that origin button. And what we're doing is we're relating the red and green axes, that origin point in our classic design to a point known out in space. So you can see there, what I'm really moving here isn't necessarily the circle it's the origin point. So if I move this circle up, let's say I moved it over here, I'm still moving the origin point. So that's kind of the relationship between the origin in your classic and your place. So I'll go back here and I'll just undo and show you that once I click set an origin, there's gonna be a couple different options. So I'm gonna start out with just the very basic, which is gonna be the most common one you'll use, uh, which is origin at a point. So when I say origin at a point, I'm going to just move my arm around. I'm going to say set origin point there. So just like when we're using point to point, what it's doing is it's setting the very center point of this tool. So if you have the scribe tip here, you'll be using essentially the center of that scribe. So here it's the marker at the center of the marker. Your torch, same concept. It's going to be the center point. And what that's done is it's locked it down in place. So as you see here, when I go and I move my arms over my circle, my origin is where I set it originally, and then it locks it. Let's say I clear that origin point, I can set a new origin just by clicking set. And now it locks it in that place. So let's say I wanted to put my circle somewhere over here. I'll move it, click set origin. I'll go back to run. And so that's the easy part is just setting down an arbitrary origin uh, using that place step. Uh, where it gets a little bit trickier is when you have an origin and then you actually want to rotate your design with respect to the machine. So to explain what I mean, I'm going to clear this design and I'm going to add a rectangle. I'm going to call it a six inch. Actually, I'll call it six inches wide. And we'll do just two inches tall. So a nice long rectangle. I'm gonna position it at the corner, call it outside. And what you'll notice here is in my design, I put the corner of my rectangle at the origin point. So now when I go to place, my origin, since I haven't changed it yet, is still the center of this circle. So when I go here, I go to origin. You can see on the screen, that's still my origin. Let's say I wanted to move that origin to this point right here. And I just want to say that's where my rectangle goes. Uh, that's where the corner of my rectangle is. I'll say again, origin at a point. I'll clear that origin point, And then I'll set a new one. You can also do the same, uh, selecting reset place. And that will reset everything at the same time. So let's say I want to put my origin back down, set origin point. And now what's going to happen, and I'll go through and I'll run this to show you, essentially, this rectangle is going to have the origin point starting right here. And then it's actually going to cut this origin with respect to the machine. It's going to be pretty much parallel like this. So my rectangle will come out to here. It'll go over there and back down. So that's kind of the, the boundaries. And you can always feel free to double check where your part is laid out in place by after setting the origin. Uh, essentially just seeing where that part is and make sure that it's in the right spot where you want to cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this first. So now hopefully you see what I mean where I've only given it an origin, which would be that point right there. 
And so it by default thinks that that origin needs to be cut with respect to where that machine rotation is. So let's say we wanted to do something more sensible and we wanted to actually rotate that rectangle so that it is parallel with a known edge. That is what a line is for. So in a line, you're going to have a couple of different options. You'll say either a line cut to two different points or a line cut to stock, which we'll get to in a minute. For this, let's just say we want to cut a line cut to two points. For this, I'll just lower down my torch to my edge. And I'm going to touch off my plate here. And I'm going to enter point one into my two point alignment. Okay, so it really any two points along this edge, all I'm doing is setting the rotation. It doesn't really have to go through the origin by any means. And so I'll just give it one point on my edge there and another point on my edge there. And so what that did is it rotates my rectangle. So my origin is still gonna be that bottom left corner here. You can always go back and verify. And now what it's gonna do is it's gonna say, okay, I understand that your cut needs to be parallel to that known edge. So let's go ahead and run that. So without changing the origin, just adding a, a two point alignment, I'm going to have my rectangle with its lead in on the corner. We'll speed it up. There. So now I've kind of shown you the, the two simple ways to place a design down on your material. Uh, there's the origin, which is always going to be that center point, which you select. And then the align is, of course, the two points to use it to make it squared off to an edge that you already know. Uh, let's say, for example, I wanted to tell it that the origin is going to belong right here. And I actually want it to be rotated perpendicular to that edge rather than aligned to it. So in that case, I'm going to go back to my uh, place screen. I'm going to reset my place, and then I'm going to move my torch over. I'll raise it up, and I'll say my origin is right here. So I'll say origin at a point, and then I'm going to give the same two align points. So I'll say one on this edge, align, cut to two points, right here, and my other alignment point over there. And again, what you'll see is my origin point. It's going to be where I selected it. And it's now aligned in that way. And I actually want to rotate it 90 degrees so that it's actually going to be perpendicular to my plate. To do that, you just use these plus 90 buttons. So if you select an edge and it's not ending up where you want it, uh, by default, it always selects the negative to positive x-axis or that red line. So to get it to line up perpendicular, we're just going to plus, mi plus minus the, the 90 degree button until it's where we actually want it. So now that we've got that covered, I'm going to go back to run. It's going to tell me it's out of bounds. So I'll go back to place. I'm just going to set the origin, we'll just set it out here somewhere. So the alignment doesn't change. Uh, you can change the two independently. So if you want to keep your alignment the same every time and you just want to move your origin, you can do that. Um, and then go right back into run. So if you're trying to follow along uh, in real time, uh, what I would ask you to do is basically just create a rectangle, go to your design, um, any rectangle, uh, and basically just place it so that the corner of your rectangle is at the origin, and then try to figure out the correlation between the place, origin, and align points so you can actually rotate your designs the way you want them. Try using the plus minus 90 buttons so that you can actually place your part in the right quadrant with respect to the machine. And then uh, 
That should get you started on just a absolute bare minimum what you need to know for place. Uh, now we're gonna do some more practical examples. So I'm gonna actually lift my machine up here. And let's say I wanted to actually cut something basically on this corner here and I'm gonna line it up to my edge and use a little bit of uh, offsetting so that I can actually get my cut to line up you know, an inch or so over from that edge. So how I would do this is I could go back into my tablet. I'll just say, uh, let's make a, a rectangle that's, we'll just give it the same six inch by three inch. I'm gonna say, this time outside cut, look at the corner and I'm gonna give the X position half an inch to the right and the Y position half an inch in, all right? And so what this will do is when I select my origin point as the true corner out here, it will let me have it so that I place my design and half an inch in, half an inch in, um, in case you wanted to do a window cut instead of cutting right on line with your material. So I'll reset place, I'll set my origin at that corner. I'll say set origin point. Again, you'll notice since I reset my place altogether, it thinks that my cut is parallel with the machine. Uh, and instead I want to rotate it so that it's parallel with my edge. So I'll give it those two alignment points. We'll say point one there, point two here. And you'll notice now my rectangle is gonna be cut long ways inside my origin. So let's say I wanted to actually cut it this way. If I wanted to do that, I could plus 90 it. But what's gonna happen is when I plus 90 and have it cut long ways and I overlay kind of where my origin point in real life is with respect to the machine, the only way for it to be in this quadrant is essentially in that orientation. So if that happens and you want to actually flip it so your rectangle is long ways, you would want to consider going back to design and then either change the dimensions of this to rotate it 90 degrees. Uh, you could drag it to a different quadrant. So let's say I want to drag it, flip it over the x-axis and go back to place, go back to align. and flip it. Now I've got the origin still in the same spot and my alignment is now long ways across this corner. So really when you're, you're solving for trying to figure out where to place your origin, if you're stuck trying to align it somewhere specific and it's not giving you the option to rotate it in a way that makes sense, flip it across one of the axes, either the red or green axis, and that will make it so it's possible to solve for putting your part in the orientation that you want it. Now, what we're gonna do is talk about what if we had a piece of stock material that we wanted to actually trace out and use that as a guide for placing our origin and our alignment. So in this case, you might have some drops or some cutoffs that aren't perfectly straight and you want to essentially use the Mach 1 to make the most of your material. And so we're gonna map that out using the stock path planner.